you're ready. Um, good afternoon. My name is Isaiah Estrada, and I'm a student at Emmanuel Lutheran School here in Twin. And these are my classmates. H.B., Kylie Willie, Riker Holson, Jane Holsey, and Tyler McBride. Ms. Owen Seven is our technology teacher, and Ms. Jen is our principal. And we appreciate the opportunity to share our project with you. Before, before we get started on our presentation, we would like to thank you, Rotary Club, for, the, for all that you have done for our school. We were fortunate to have been awarded a grant from you and purchased the LCD projector. We use it, it's, we use it every day. We would also like to thank you for the very generous Kiva credit donations that you have made so that we can help even more people. I, I am sure that as you learn more about Kiva, you will realize much, how much a difference your donations have made in people's lives. It is, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. We are on our second year of donating the money that you lended to us. What is Kiva? Kiva is a nonprofit organization with a mission to connect people through lending to help combat poverty. Using the internet, a worldwide network of microfinance institutions, Kiva lets individuals lend as little as $25 to help create opportunity around the world. What is microfinance? Microfinance is a general term used to describe low-income individuals who do not have access to a typical banking system. Since Kiva was founded in 2005, they have had 1,146,879 Kiva lenders. They have made $548,866,200 in loans. They have had a 98.94% repayment rate. Kiva works with 242 field partners, 450 volunteers around the world, in 76 different countries. Some of the 450 volunteers might help translate the borrower story to English. How does Kiva work? The borrower meets with the field partner and requests a loan. The field partner gives the money to the borrower. The field partner uploads the, the loan to the loan request to Kiva where it is reviewed by a team of volunteer editors and translators and then published on Kiva.org. Kiva lenders fund the loan request at, and Kiva sends the funds to the field partner. The borrower makes the repayments, repayments and the field partner sends funds owed to Kiva and Kiva repays lenders. The lenders can make another loan, donate to Kiva, or withdraw the money to their PayPal account. We have chosen to continue making loans, so you can see that that $200 your club gave us has kept on giving. You may be wondering why the field partner would give the money to the borrower before it is funded on Kiva. For borrowers, even a small delay in receiving money can have a negative effect on their business. This slide will show you what you see when we are choosing a borrower. We always like to see a picture of who we are lending to to help understand their story better and what they are going to do. Um, we read the description to see what their story is, why they want the money, and if we can trust them with the money. Um, we look at the status to see how much money they want and how close they are to getting that much. And we look at the microfinance information to um, help us decide if we want to loan to them and why it would be a good idea. When lending, it is important to consider these risks. Economic, political, and natural disasters. We haven't had any problems with political, but um, we have lost three cents due to the economy because of a currency devaluation. And we almost lost money in a natural disaster because we went to Arlene in the Philippines when they had the tsunami. And after the tsunami, we got a message from Kiva saying that she may not be able to pay it back. But as you can see, she, she was safe and so was our money. 
our portfolio. We have been members of Cuba since 2009. We, we have had a total amount of lending of $1,200 that equals 47 loans. We have had a total amount re repaid of $810.31. We have had a total amount we lost of three cents, and that was in Benin, and that is South of Africa. We have had a total amount refunded of $100. We have outstanding loans of $200. $65.92. This is a snapshot of our lending activity. We have lent to nine of the 15 different sectors. 15% of our let loans have been made to agriculture. We have lent to 27 of the 149 different activities. If you could see farming, cattle, and pigs, and much other things can relate to agriculture, can, that's the reason we have the most in agriculture. We have lent to 19 of the 76 different countries. 50% of our loans have been made to the Philippines. If you can see, we have went to Vietnam. One of our classmates' mom grew up in Vietnam. That's why I was in, it was important for us to put on the list. Meet one of our borrowers. Roger earns a living by raising pigs in the Philippines. He is borrowing 16,000 Philippine pesos to purchase feed and vitamins for his pigs. He is working towards the attainment of his dream to build and expand his business to secure the future of his family. 41.3 Philippine pesos equals one U.S. dollar. And Roger's annual income for a year is only $1,175, which that is not a lot of money. Someone working at McDonald's could make that much money in around a month. Here are some things that you might consider before lending to one of the borrowers. You might want to look at the rating. As you can see on this one, this is a four and a half, which we know is a good one. You might run on to some twos, twos and a half, threes. Those you might have to consider some of the other risks, like the time on Kiva, the total loans, and the loss rate. As you can see, this one is 0.0%, which is a good one. You might run on to some that say um, they've lost a whole loan, so those you might not want to consider. Fellow lenders for Roger. As you can see, there's our class there, and you can see many different countries and states, like United or like Canada, Switzerland, Germany, United Kingdom, and many more. Curriculum connections. We learn new math skills and practice ones we already know. We plan to use Google Earth to identify where our borrowers live as well as to see where other lenders come from. We think it is very interesting to see what the annual income is in some of the other countries in comparison to the average salary in our city as well as in our state. We have also seen how natural disasters such as the tsunami in the Philippines affects the economy of an area. Using the Kiva website gives us practice in non-fictional articles. We have to be able to summarize the description for our classmates and focus on the details that we need to know more about in deciding whether to loan to a particular borrower. Because Spanish is one of our required classes in our school, we think it's fun to go through the Spanish translations to see if we can read it and understand it. How you can get involved. You can go to cuba.org and register as a user and find someone you would like to lend to. You can email Mrs. Owen Salmon and she will send you an invitation to join our team. You will find the website and Mrs. Owen Salmon's email address on the brochure we gave you. If you are interested in becoming a Kiva lender or perhaps want to join our team, you can we can receive a $25 loan and so can you, so it's a win-win situation. You can also purchase Kiva gift cards for friends and relatives. Since you pay and get your money back, it's the gift that keeps on giving. What, what we like about Kiva is that you can help many people around the world by just using your tablet or computer. What is really cool is that some people have to travel the whole world to help people in need, but with Kiva, you can be your own hometown hero. Thank you for allowing us to share our project with you. We appreciate all that your Rotary Club has done for our school. Are there any questions?
Anybody, anybody have any questions? They did a great job, didn't they? I heard one of our bankers back here saying that they had a pretty good return rate on, on your payments. So you guys have done okay. That's great. What grades are you in? Think how good they're going to be when they get out of school, huh? especially if they can get through that, uh, that finance uh, program at Twin Falls High School, right? Anything else? Okay, well, as we have a little gift for you guys for coming and talking to us. You did a great job, and we appreciate it. And we're, we're proud of you. We're, uh, Good job. I thought maybe you would enjoy that. I, I this has been something that uh, they've worked on. My wife's worked with kids on for a number of years, and last year our, our international service group, uh, uh, our committee decided to uh, to provide them some additional resources uh, by providing them two hundred dollars to to work with to add to their pool that they had, and and it's been a I think it's been a really good project. And you can see there's a lot of different uh, skills that the kids picked up in in here. Uh, um, as part of the project, and, and that's, I think, what, what makes it really special. And then the other thing is some of the stories that, that I've heard over the last couple or three years of how it helps people in other countries. You know, we've, you know a few dollars doesn't seem like much to us, but in some countries a few dollars is a, is a huge thing to those people and has really made a difference in their lives. So <clears throat> thank you. I uh, would, would like to thank uh, all of our uh, visiting Rotarians and guests for You're wrong. Well, it seems that all the big holidays have passed, and so what have we to look forward to? Mother's Day. In honor of Mother's Day, I would just like to sing that well-known song, Mother, and then we'll do our patriotic song. Thank you, Teddy. M is for the million things she gave me. O is for the other things she gave me. T is for the thousand things she gave me. H is for the hundreds of things she gave me. E is for everything she gave me. R is for the rest of the things she gave me. Good old mom. Before we do uh, My Country Tis of Thee, I will leave you with these words which are suitable for framing somewhere in a conspicuous place in your house. <clears throat> Life is not measured by the number of breaths you take but by the number of moments that take your breath away. Now don't come up and ask me to repeat that after a while. <laughs> oh, kids never grow up. <laughs> All right, my country, tis of the sweet land of liberty. <clears throat> my